I want to see today if I can colour sand using acrylic paints. What I've got is a project that I'm doing and I need some different coloured sands for it and I don't want to spend out really high prices it costs to buy coloured sand. I've got two types of sand in my studio. I've got the white sand that's a really nice fine sand and I've also got this normal sand coloured sand that's sand. Sand, 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 sand. I want three different colours so I'm going to do tests with three different colours. And if this works out, I think it's gonna be great and save me some money, but we will see. I'm putting a glove on because I don't want to get too much sand in my hand. Oh, I'm really poetic today. Sand in my hand. And the first one I'm going to be using is a pale blue. Now, the other thing I don't want to do is put too much in so it clumps up everywhere because I can see that happening. And to me, I think this is gonna be more like trying to make a crumble. Not that I would suggest you eat it. And it's gonna be about making sure that each one of these grains is colored and covered in this paint. And I'm rubbing it in until, again, there is no lumps in there. And I can add a little bit at a time as opposed to add it all at once. I do think the lighter colors are gonna be more difficult to make with this darker sand, but we can see. I mean, it's definitely changed color at the moment, but it's still quite a sandy sand color. I mean, it's very different to that. And me being colorblind, I couldn't tell you if that looks blue or not, but I'm sure you'll be able to tell me. Again, adding a little bit more and making sure that's put all the way through it. And it's actually quite therapeutic to mix this. It feels quite nice. And it still feels quite dry. That's why I've not added any water to it. I don't think it needs any water adding to it. I think that all that's going to do is make it run a little bit and clump up. Well, I think that's as blue as I'm going to get it. And I think that's quite a nice color. And that took seven times the amount that I used to start with of acrylic paint. And it does feel a little bit damp now. So I'm gonna leave that to one side to dry. I'm gonna see how much it takes for the white sand. So that's the amount I started with. Now the white sand is a little bit more expensive than the sandy colored sand, but I like the white sand because I use it in quite a lot of things as well. So I normally have this in my studio. I will link it in the description below if anyone wants to get hold of it so they can then make stuff with it as well. And it's not actually that expensive. So that has mixed in quite well and that's given a bit of a brighter color, but I still think it needs a little bit more and this is going to save me a fortune and you'll see what i've got planned coming up soon Whoa! i'm really quite excited about it i'm always excited about any crafting project though if i'm honest and these are just cartons that i get takeaways in and what i will do is i've got all the lids for these and i can store them in there with the airtight lids on to keep it nice and dry well that's get definitely given a more accurate color and it is because we started with a white base but i still think it needs a little bit more coloring in there than what is there so i'm gonna add a third amount and i'm sure the third amount should be enough there is quite a big difference in the two that is come out very very clear and near to the color that I actually use of the acrylic paint, where that's given me a different color, but actually still a nice color. And it might be a good way of being able to do some different shading. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna leave these for a few hours to completely dry, and then I'll show you what I'm gonna do next and see if it's gonna work. What I'm also going to do is some yellow ones and some red ones of both, so we can see them all. These should all be dry now. These are the ones that were made with the white sand, and these were the ones that were made with the sandy sand. And they are lovely and dry. I've been drying for a couple of hours, and you can tell they're dry because none of the paint is coming off them onto my hands. So they're brilliant. So what we have got now is we've got some clumps and I want to get rid of those clumps. And I think the best way to do that is to sieve these back into these pots. I've got a sieve here that I use in my studio. All I'm going to do is pop that in there now and push that through the sieve. And that should bring out and get rid of any of the lumps that are there. And if there's any clumpy bits like I've got left in this sieve now, then all I've got to do is I can chuck those away. And that has given me a really nice yellow there. And it's lovely and fine sand as well. Well, I think this is going to work. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'll finish that off and then we can do a comparison. Well, that's all of them sieved and done and I'm really pleased with how they've come out. The ones with the white sand, as you'd expect, have actually come out much truer to the colors. But the one with the sand colored sand, I have no idea what color sand is. The one with the sand color sand has still come out really well and they're lovely and coated and also they are really fine. It hasn't clumped up at all, which was what my fear was that we kind of set like cement. 
Look at that. Lovely. I'm going to be using these in some projects coming up. I'm going to put some lids on these so that I can keep them nice and dry, nice and sealed up. And then you'll see them coming through in another project. I might even test out and see whether I can use them in resin as well over on my other channel. Let me know what you think or if you've coloured any sand. And if you have, how you've done it. Take care. Enjoy your crafting. Bye.